Hi, that's you live. I meant to tell you. You're oh, live. hello everybody. I forgot to tell you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I'm just making my bags. I thought I'd come on with you guys and hang out with y'all while I did this. Y'all keep me company and makes me move a little faster. Makes you move faster? Why? I don't know. It really don't, does it? Well, it kind of does. I don't know why. I'm cold. Makes me get it done instead of stopping and saying, oh, I'll do this one later, throwing it in the fridge, you know? Yeah. Starting with my um, uh, stewing. Can't think of what to call it. Mm. Look good, juicy red, don't it? Oh, okay. Mm. Red Rosa, hey baby. Hey Red. Y'all haven't been live and I'm kind of having a hard time with this meat, raw meat, because I got food poisoning Friday night and I have been so sick and I've did not get food poisoning from anything that I cooked. I got a grilled chicken sandwich Friday night from Chick-fil-A. And it gave me food poisoning. And so I've just been sick. I won't get that one for hamburger. Dude, so that just did lasagna for the hamburger. freezer. Did what? Lasagna for the freezer. I'm assuming she meant she did this. Cooked it and, and got it ready to go. So all she has to do is pull it out and throw it in the oven. I made these bags bigger than I made them. It'll be all right. Bigger than what? I made these bags a little bit bigger than I needed. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's do that. You know what? Let's do the hamburger in these. Gives me more room to flatten it out. And I'll do the beef in these. Thank you. 
Y'all, my pantry's all set up now, except for the one shelf that he's got to build. I love my pantry. Never ends. Build, build, build. It made it so much easier with the groceries. I could see where I wanted to put stuff, and it was just nice. Cleaned out the little pantries and sorted them out, and Becky wiped them off and put them in the, in the storage area. I think every can got wiped, didn't it? Yes. Big pack like that. I think it is. I mean, it's all the same price per pound, though, isn't it? I'm breaking my back in there clean and forever, so. Make your way into my room doing that. Huh? Make your way into my room and do that. <laughs> So happy you got your very own food pack and now you don't have to hunt things. Yes. A wonderful Mother's Day gift from your sweet hubby. Yes, I needed that paper. I pinned that comment every day. I have a pantry so that I can see what I actually have. I want to start um, doing like planning a menu each week. See if I can save on groceries that way. Y'all, we threw away a big cardboard box of food that was like two or three years out of date. One was from 2017. Stuffed in those little bitty pantries that we could not see what was in there. Hamburger helper from 2017. Yeah, hamburger helper from 2017. And a lot of people are gonna say, you could have still used that. I was cooking hamburger helper one night. Ugh. And when I got it done, 
I tasted it. It had the most horrible taste. Check the date. It was from like 2019. Had to put the whole pan in the garbage. It had a horrible taste. And so when we cleaned that pantry out, I told Alan, he said, well, this is supposed to be non-perishable. I said, I ain't eating none of it because the last hamburger helper I cooked that was out of date, I had to throw the whole pan away. Oh, Maybe if it was vacuum sealed no. instead of just boxed. I don't know. The hamburger helper was nasty when it's old. Loses its flavor or something. Huh? Loses its flavor or something. It doesn't. It was horrible. Okay, I have one, two, three. I need three more for the hamburger meat. You cut the meat up and. and uh, I'm doing food prep. Yeah. Cooking portions. Because you don't want you don't want to fall out three pounds of hamburger meat for you get one pound out of it. I mean, I don't know how big fat you got. Well, like when I make um, when we make like spaghetti or tacos, we don't need three pounds of meat. You should only use one pound. That's what I'm saying. You don't need that much then, and there's no point in having to cook it and waste it if why you're not you, going to use it. Why don't you put it in a pound and a half thing instead of like three one pounds? Because I ain't never cooked nothing in this house that I only use a pound. Really? You, um, there's so many of us. Do you have um, any soap put in the hot water? It's going to be in that cabinet. Oh, what, what do I need to look for? Here, use this. What are you doing, mopping her room? Yeah. Use a splash of bleach. I'll put some water in there. She's fixing to mop the uh, linoleum in Harmony Green. Yeah, Becky, I don't really like hamburger helper either. But I don't need a bit. Well, they like it. Yeah, my granddaughter, she likes it. And Dion likes it. There's some that Devin and Michael like. I really don't I like it. I like one kind. Well, here's the thing. A lot of it had been in that cabinet. Since my uh, daughter-in-law, Haley's mama, lived here. That's where most of that came from. Well, but see, she, she liked they couldn't see any point Haley's there. mama. She's not in the camera. Um, my daughter-in-law, when she stayed here, she liked to make hamburger helper. Yeah, I wouldn't care if we ever bought it. I don't really like it anyway, so I don't, I don't like Becky it. Becky used to get one kind that we like that. It's like potatoes in one it. It's like a stroganoff. Yeah. I don't like one kind. That's I mean, but I can make that on my own. I don't have to have the hamburger helper brand. And it tastes better, too. How many pounds is that piece out there? This is three pounds. <coughs> Same with me. I cut it up into three sections. I ain't doing that. Then it's not enough, and I have to thaw, thaw two of them out. So I'd rather just split it into. Uh, you need a cutting board? No, I don't need a cutting board. Oh, Michelle's doing good. I'm assuming. She was the other night. Okay, we're just doing the meat over into the pack because I'm not putting the foam in it. I can't flatten it that way. Yep, Michelle's just being Michelle. Oh, Flossy Bossy's doing all right. Uh, Kathy, 
we're actually going to get back to crafting. Yeah, I'm going to get back to doing my craft. I just got to get well from this feed point. I had planned this weekend to clean up my shop. We've, uh, when I got sick with food poisoning. We talked about it yesterday. We're going to start back crafting and start back doing our crafting giveaways. And, yeah, I got to start uh, back doing my giveaways and all that good stuff. We're going to start back doing uh, crafting share giveaways and just random giveaways, stuff like that, like we used to do. But she's got to clean her crafting building out. I'm sure we're going to end up throwing a lot of stuff away. Especially all them old crafts. We ain't seen them in three months. They can go. It's, it's time to go through my building, get it cleaned out, and get back to, to um, crafting and all the good stuff. Yep. Yeah, we had some talk about it. Yesterday we were talking about that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, during like Christmas and Thanksgiving and fall and stuff like that, there's a lot of crafts to do. Um, I like Fourth of July, like July crafts. And Alan likes doing Fourth of July crafts. Easter ones, I don't mind those so bad. I'm not really so much into Valentine's Day ones. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day, all that. So for me, that's the time that I like to be doing things, you know, to my house or stuff like that. Up oh, McKenzie says summer's coming, school's almost out. You ready to craft, girl? She's got a lot of time for her grandma. Oh, all right. <laughs> she said her new baby niece likes to cry, so she'll be at grandma's crafting. <laughs> oh. gets out of school after this week. Uh, Sherry, she's got a link somewhere on our page for that food saver. What's the name of it? Do you know? Food saver. Food saver by food saver. It's food saver brand. Yeah. Don't get no cheap one. You'll you'll regret it. Yeah, don't don't get one of the cheap ones off Amazon. If you do a lot of bagging like this, don't get no cheap one. You'd be like, well, they come in, don't get no cheap one. Oh, yeah, Sarah, we're going to definitely keep the cooking. Yeah. The, the cooking's what the page is really all about. I mean, that's that's what I do in the most, you know, is cooking. I'd much rather have the cooking than the crafting, but we're going to get back to it. But I agree with you, the cooking got to stay. I like doing all of it. The cooking, the crafting, the working on my house with y'all guys. I like doing all of it. I don't mind the working it's, on the house. It's all going to stay, but I am going to get back to my crafting. I don't mind doing lives when I'm working on the house, because I'm going to be doing it anyway. And if there's somebody to hang out with, that's cool. You didn't flatten it? I'll flatten it once I get in there. No, I think I have to flatten it first. No. Long, we have to learn how to cook, too, girl. Okay. I didn't have that down in there good enough. That's why I'm doing it as quick as you can. There we go. 
you're 10 in a couple of years, it's time for you to get in that kitchen. I finally got the dough roller I want. And where'd you get that, Timu? Timu. Timu. It's from Timu. Hey, Mr. Larry. Helen, I thought I'd seen you earlier. And that'll fall so much easier for me. Uh, thank you, Miss Bev. Keep things fresh. So much better than pulling a pack of meat out of the freezer and it being uh, freezer burnt. I hate when I pull stuff out of the freezer and it's got all them ice crystals on it. When I buy cartons of ice cream, I make sure that I put plastic over top of the ice cream each time so it don't form crystals. Through me, I just buy smaller packs of meat and I have to do all that. You know what I mean? Instead of buying three pound bags, I just buy a pound and a half. Or one pound to a pound and a half. The big packs of chicken are definitely cheaper. How? It's the same the smaller packs <clears throat> were the same price as the big packs. Yeah, but ain't it the same amount per pound? You would think so, but no. You get the family packs cheaper than the, the smaller packs. I don't know why that is.
And y'all, I don't write the dates on them because by the time I'm ready to do groceries again, this will all be gone. No, no need to be putting a date on it. I've got some bell peppers I got to cut up too before they go down on me. Y'all, my rolling pin's getting wet, but that's not me. That's water from my sink where I'm setting the packs in my sink. I was wondering why I wear it. From that water. Of course, you know I'm going to scrub it up anyway before I'm done. All right, that's all my hamburger. We got nine pounds of hamburger here. Shirley, she rolls it so it's flat. It's easier to store in the freezer that way, and it falls out quicker that way. If you roll it real thin, it'll throw out a lot quicker. Ain't that why you roll it? Yeah. And it's so easy to store flat like that instead of big round balls. I already have two full packs in my freezer that I didn't split up just in case like we want to cook them on the grill one Sunday or I don't know how many bags I've cut. I think this is eight. Oh, Denise's little dog got that I many she found him. Oh, I hope you find him. We had a little dog. He would sneak in the car and go to work with us. He'd sneak in the car and go to the grocery store with us and he'd sneak out of the car. Let me tell y'all what he did. We went to the grocery store about eight miles, eight, nine miles from where we live and the dog had snuck in the car we didn't know. 
He got out at the grocery store. We didn't know. We didn't know. We got home, could not find our dog. All afternoon looked for him. That night, we were like, oh my God, what if he got in the car and snuck out at the grocery store? So we that night, at about 12, 1 o'clock, we drove all the way back down to that grocery store. The store's closed, parked in the parking lot, standing out there. I'm whistling, hollering his name, and here he come running from, like, the street across from the, the grocery store. Running down the hill. Sure did. He did that to us. Oh, my God. We're working about 30, 40 miles from home. He snuck in the car, went to work with us, and... That's when he got up under the crawl space. He got up under the crawl space of the house, and we forgot him. <laughs> we went home and forgot him and had to go back up there that night, 30, 40 miles away, and get the dog. He literally... He crawled... When I was under the crawl space working... Wor worst thing kid about getting in the car hiding to go with you. He'd be so quiet, wouldn't he? He's a little Dotson, and his name was It's a Bitsy. Little weenie dog. He did that to us so many times. Did it to us once at Hunter Ridge. We had to go back and get him. Yeah, Becky, she freezes uh, onions, bell peppers, squash. The onions, I like to freeze them in, a, in like a water bottle. So she can shake them out on her food. I, I'll show you how I freeze the onions. I got a couple of these little apple juice bottles that I'll put my onions in. And I can just take out however many I need. Works pretty good, doesn't it? Y'all, that little dog would about drive me crazy doing that. And it's like, at the time, my kids were teenagers. So, you know how it is when you got teenage, three teenagers. And then in the summertime, they worked with us. They'd get in that car every afternoon. They had to be fighting, showing themselves. So, you know, you know getting the, some being a uh, car with me, some being a truck with Alan. You didn't know which kid was where or where the dog was or nothing else. It was always turmoil. What? Talking about it's, I'm talking about it's a bitsy and uh, how he got by with his bull crap. I couldn't stand that little dog. Half time I wouldn't even know he was in the car because he, y'all, he'd get in the car and he'd lay down in the back floorboard. No shit. I'm, I'm not kidding you at all. I wouldn't even know he was in the car with me till I'd be halfway to work and here he comes crawling over the console. Getting his little balls all over my drink. <laughs> Every time he'd crawl right over my drink, my straw, and I'd be like, I ain't drinking that now. I sure hated, did. He, I hated that little dog. Alan couldn't stand him, and I'd be like, but he's like one of the kids. No, we, we gotta go find it's a bitsy. I'd be crying. We gotta go find it's a bitsy. I'd be like, damn that dog. <laughs> Alan be like, I'm so tired of having to go hunt that dog down. We can't leave him behind. He's like one of the kids. I'll be like, he's one of your kids, not mine. That dog was a handful. Y'all don't know how bad I wanted to just leave him wherever the heck he was. Somebody find him and feed him. <laughs> feed him, bite him. Yeah, you could not stick your hand in my car. Alright, y'all. Don't be loud. Alright, I'm doing live. Don't get loud.
know, Becky, while we go to me and before the live, me and Devin was uh, at the back door. We opened up, and the cat come running in. And so Devin got him a thing of food, went out there, poured it, called him. He wouldn't come out there. Devin had to pick him up, carry him out there, and set him down in front of the food. I'm not surprised. He did everything but put the food in his mouth. I'm not surprised. He's getting old and finicky. How much is a package of chicken down there? Uh, These packs of chicken were on sale this week for, um, this one was eleven sixteen. Eleven dollars. This one was twelve dollars and thirty cents. Yeah, they're about, was about the eleven dollars a pack. Eleven to twelve dollars a pack. Mm -hmm. and you, you I don't want to get chicken on this. How many breasts did you get out of that one pack? There were seven. three, six, seven breasts in that pack. I don't want to touch nothing with my chicken hands, especially not after getting food poisoning. Uh -uh. And I didn't give it to myself. And I'm not over it. I'm still getting bouts of nausea. Y'all turn that TV down. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll get these two sealed and then I'll put some more in that pattern. Then I'll clean everything down with some bleach. Let me see you roll that flat. Oh, I ain't even trying. <laughs> That's a good price. Yeah, they've been being like uh, $15, $16 a pack. So this was on sale. Uh, Helen, uh, Becky got hers from Amazon. There's a link on our page of this exact one, I think. They have to go so far down to find it. I will link it for them after the live. Uh, you gotta do is type in the search bar food saver the shabby shack. Yeah. Type in the search bar food saver the shabby shack and it should pull up the, the um post for you. Anything on our page they want to find it, they gotta just type in the title and put our name behind it. Uh I'm gonna use scissors. Uh Judy, she ate Chick-fil-A. She got food poisoning. I ate, I had a grilled listen. Nothing from home. Friday night, I was tired. Haley was out. One know, did we want anything? I told Ellen, I said, let's have some Chick-fil-A so I don't have to cook. Um, I got the boys all the regular chicken sandwiches. I got myself a grilled chicken. I'm the only one who got sick, got food poisoning. But I 100 for a fact know that it was food poisoning because I was throwing up. I had body chills, fever, aching, headache. It. I Googled it. I had every single symptom. It was horrible. I finally got where I could um, even halfway feel like myself a little yesterday. But like I said, the nausea is still coming in. In waves, and it's been since Friday night. No, it's not a stomach bug because nobody in my house has been sick. Hey, Devin. Just don't take the bag out. I said, I'm done with Chick-fil-A. Never again. They can call it the Lord's Chicken, whatever. But what was coming out of me was pure evil. Ugh. What? 
I said they can call it, the, I'm done with Chick-fil-A. They can call it the Lord's Chicken, whatever. But what was coming out of me felt pure evil. I was so sick. Yeah, I'm not even, Chick-fil-A is off our menu from now on, forever. Waiting on my stomach to get right. What did I ask you that thing? Chick-fil-A wants you to I don't know Chick-fil-A. Mm. I'll pass on that. Yep, we'll never eat Chick-fil-A again. I got food poisoned back years ago from Arby's. And the same night I ate that Arby's, I ate some Turtle Track ice cream. And the weird thing is, is I can eat Arby's now. It's been years. I can eat Arby's now. But I still can't stomach the idea of no total tracks ice cream. No, we didn't tell no manager. Wasn't it no good? I mean, I couldn't prove it was them, but that was what I ate Friday night. Uh, Friday morning, I'd had grits, bacon, and eggs that I cooked at home. Hadn't ate nothing that afternoon until we had that stuff that night. The only thing it could have been was that grilled chicken sandwich. But I, you know, I, Michelle told me, Mommy, you should have went, you were that sick, you should have went to the emergency room. She said, you should have went to the emergency room and sued them. I said, nah, I wasn't going to do all that. Now, Saturday night, I was close to going to the emergency room. Saturday night, I forgot to vacuum it. Saturday night, I was so sick when I woke up at about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning that night. I felt like I was drunk I was so sick. I was dizzy, sweating bullets. Oh, man. I hadn't been that sick since I had H. pylori. family chicken last night and she wouldn't eat it and I wouldn't even eat no chicken and I checked it with the thermometer everything and, and then, I would not touch and it and then you go and buy three big packs and then I go and buy three big packs I mean I'll eventually eat chicken if you're not going to eat chicken it's one of the few meats I can eat I know but right now you're not eating chicken if you bought all that chicken well I mean it is what it is I'm just saying if you're not eating chicken right now why buy it because it don't mean everybody else will eat it. I mean, I'll eat it. If I cook it, I'll eat it. But last night, still being sick the way I am, I couldn't know. I could not. I wouldn't care if you ever bought chicken. Okay. I made one pack too many. I put two big ones in some of them. And this one's getting three great big ones. Yeah, if it was me making the version of this, I wouldn't buy no chicken. No chicken, no pork chops. All you would eat is hamburgers. I already know this. I buy hamburger meat. That's it. That's all you buy is hamburger meat. Yeah. Because you sure ain't going to spring for the price of no steak. I don't even want steak. I'm not going to buy it. See, this well, see. Okay, that pack has to go out to the trash. I know, Devin. Because if not, it will start stinking. I'm going to get this vacuum sealed and wipe everything down with some bleach. I almost did it again. I almost hit sealed without vacuum. So yeah, I'm on 
day four of being sick from food poison. But I mean, each day I feel a little better. But because I already have so many digestive issues, you get one on board, you get something one. like that happens to me, it takes me longer to get over it. <coughs> Here. Put this bag in it, too. Hey, sweetheart. What you doing? I put the trash can, trash bag in the can. Where's the adult Should be hanging up oh, on the first hook on top. Okay. By the door. Make sure that back tire is pumped up. Don't drive it on the flat. Uh, Deb, no, I don't really like chicken. I eat fried chicken, but I don't really like it. That's nothing. Yeah, make sure that tire's pumped up. Alright. Okay. Let me know if it ain't. Now I got to, I'm going to wipe this down and I'm going to do my peppers. I almost yeah. forgot about my peppers. Yeah. 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 This is a Tough guy. bleach. Do it in tough guy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, tough guy. Okay. Okay, go play. Do it to the camera. Walk over there behind Nanny and do it. Walk all the way back there. Go good. Yeah. Tough guy. <laughs> no, stay back there and do it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. songs for her presentation at the end of the uh, school year. So she keeps walking around singing her little song. This is so cute. I love you too, Miss Tito. Why are you hugging Nanny's booty? No! Come on, let's use the paddle to wash it. Yeah, that's, that's how old Harmony is, three. Oh, boy. She is always wide open. What you doing, baby? Tip 
Does she have big cheeks? Not right now. In a little while you can. You can in a little bit. Now you know you might as well get her a piece. There's going to be no piece till that baby gets some big cheeks. One? Yes, one. Just one. Just one. She wants just one, baby. Yeah, just one. Come on. One big cheese. Uh-oh. Whoa! Butter flew out of She likes the block cheddar cheese, and she calls it big cheese. Why you got so many boxes of this butter? There ain't big cheese. I want to say why. Look what I got. Ah, big cheese! What is it? Big cheese. Big cheese. Smell it. It smells good. It's cold. It smells good. Take a bite. Is that good? Yeah. Smell of it. <laughs> that baby got her big cheese. Was the tire okay? Yeah. Is that the honor? Yeah. Oh, I didn't need Where's the key? Did y'all check the tire? I need to think about what I'm going to make for there. tonight. There's a little bit of cheese on that knife. Did you say the tire was okay? Yes. Yeah. The bank driver tire? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did the tire go out? I mean, it's just smoking. Got those in bags on that uh, in that fire burn barrel. While it's, while it's still hot. What do we want for dinner tonight? Uh, big cheese. Okay, you can eat big cheese. I don't have to cook. Uh, Linda, all my grandkids call me Alan. I guess because growing up, all they hear people call me is Alan. They never hear Grandpa or Granddad. That ain't true. They never heard that. We were grandparents in our 30s. He wasn't going to be called Papa. Oh, yeah, no Papa. Uh -uh. So he taught them kids to call him Alan. And over the years, that's just what they kept on calling him. I call him old man because they heard the older ones call him out. Yep. I didn't want to be grandma in my 30s, so they called me nanny. Yep, they all call, every one of my grandchildren called me Alan. I tried to teach Harmony to call him Papa, because I told him, you in your 50s, you can be Papa now. It don't stick. It does not stick. Nope. But it started out that we were very young grandparents. What, baby? No, that's all you're going to get right now, baby. You can't eat too much cheese. You'll get a tummy ache. Yep, you'll be stocked up for a week. Look, that one was... Growing up. Growing some inside it. Grow it. Plant it. <laughs>
Yeah, I would never let my grandkids call me a pawpaw. Never, 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 never. But we were like 35 and 36 years old. cheese you're getting right now, baby. Uh, great. Now, go get your sucker off my, uh, off my TV. Okay. Yeah. I hate her eating those suckers. I'll stand her right here in front of me while she eats it. I'll just give it to her and let her run around. I know. Just my thing about this. Pick your own. Pick it. One, two, three. Pink. Pink? Okay. Hold on, I'll, hold on, I'll open it. You stand right here and eat it, okay? Oh. Here. I want you to stay right here and eat it. I don't want you to get it. That was right. Oh, yeah, that was right. Yes. Remember the last one was yellow? No, that was pink. I thought that garbage. I thought it was seen us. We've been here. We ain't went anywhere. She's cutting up bell peppers free from uh, Glenda. I don't want my bell peppers to go bad, so I'm going ahead chopping them up and putting them in the freezer. No, just eat it. And then when I want them, they'll yes. be Chopped and ready to go. What? Stuck. What are you talking about? Stuck. Stuck? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Stuck. It ain't stuck. She got hers from Amazon. Talking about the food saver? Yeah. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you don't have one, invest in one. The price of groceries nowadays, and it keeps your food from getting freezer burnt and having to throw stuff out, it's so worth it. Groceries are so expensive. Uh, Laura said, did you get your peppers from Kroger? She's saying they were 99 cents. These, yeah. Were they 99 cents? Well, I bought these the last time I got groceries. I don't remember what I paid for them then. But I think they were 99 cents then. Um, no, they were $1.50 then when I got them. Um, 
So they've been in my fridge for a week and a half, and before they can go bad, I want to get chocolate more. and frozen. No more. I used a little bit in one in a sausage burrito one morning. So I want to get them put up. Tastes like pink. Yeah. Baby, she said her sucker tastes like pink. Tastes like pink. Yeah. See, she don't suck on them things. She chews them babies. That's hard, ain't it? Don't break your teeth. Ruby says she didn't know you could freeze them. She had to throw away two the other day. Oh, I freeze mine because then I can still use them. You know, they wouldn't be good in like a salad, but they're good in chili and omelets, you know, in a burrito, anything that, you know, you're doing cooked peppers. Uh, Carol, the food saver is a decent one between $80 and $125. Don't get no cheap $50 one. You know? they're, and, but they're so worth it. They save your groceries. And some of them come with bags, and some of them you have to order bags separate. So just... Uh, <laughs> My whole pepper. I'm glad y'all just changed the bag out. Grand fresh grain your bag. Y'all, I'm glad they just changed that bag out because my whole pepper went in the trash. Like, you better come out of there, we ain't throwing you away. Yeah, don't, whatever you do, don't buy no cheap one. I mean, I know money's tight, but you'll regret it. It's an investment in saving your, your groceries. No, no more. Go put this back on my TV. No, you didn't have two, that's all you're getting. And when you can yeah, find too. meats and stuff on sale, like that chicken was on sale this week. You get it while you can. You get it while you can and you vacuum seal that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, Kim, them cheap ones, you think, oh, I'm just going to get a little 30 $40 one and then it works about two times and then you're like, shit, I should have got a good one. Because Becky does this every two weeks. All for me, everything. Yeah, any, any, um, like squash, stuff like that. Okay, go play, go play. I do this with my squash. Squash, okra, stuff like that. Food's too hobby though, in a way. I felt horrible when we cleaned the pantry out and had to throw all that away. I know, but I wasn't eating nothing from 2017. No. Or 2022. I don't know about you, but I love me. Yeah, we was going to do a garden this year, but we're going to wait until next year. We're, we're we've got one of, we're building it up. Yeah, we've got one of the beds built, but y'all know we started working on the house again. But we got one of the beds built, we're going to get the other one built, because we're doing raised beds. And we have one of them filled with leaves, and we're doing compost in it yeah. right now, getting it ready. And I did not get to find somebody to deliver me some soil. So uh, I'm hoping that I'll have my other bed built and oh, you will. Build. filled with leaves and compost in the bottom of it and that I will get to get my soil brought out next year. We'll get enough soil brought out for both of them. 
Uh, what's for supper tonight? I don't know. We talked about it. That's what I was just saying. I haven't even decided what we're going to have for dinner. Um, we haven't even thought about supper. I'm doing all this, and I still got to figure out what we're going to eat. This is why so many people eat out the same day that they buy groceries. I don't, I'll be honest with you. I don't really care about eating out. The food is just so nasty. We've had it all so many times. It's like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Crystal, Arby's, Burger King, Wendy's. It's all just garbage. We could go get some because I didn't get none. I didn't want them to go bad before I made it. What? Some brown and serve rolls. I'm with you there. And I could do some beef tips and rice. Uh, with brown gravy. Yeah, you better leave a pack of the Grab a pack of it out before it freezes. Sounds like we're having beef tips, rice, gravy, and rolls. What's this meal for me? I don't know what that meal for me. Go play. Go talk to your mom. Hey, there's your mom. Go talk to her. Carol said we're having fried Mom, chicken. <laughs> we had fried oh, chicken, baby, chicken last night. I didn't eat none. We're running. I, I gotta be com completely over this mess before I even think about eating any chicken. It's funny that you say that and you bought all that chicken. <laughs> um, well, I'm not saying I ain't ever gonna eat it. No, I'm just saying. I'm still experiencing the nausea and all from it. Of course, I don't want it right now. What, well, baby? Those are favorite ponies. That's the favorite one? Yeah. Okay. Those are ponies. Purple, yeah. And my daughter said, Mama, you couldn't tell that it wasn't fully cooked or anything? I said, Michelle, I put so much of that honey roasted barbecue sauce on my sandwiches. That's all I can taste. I don't even taste. I taste that and that grilled taste. That's all I can taste. I don't even taste the chicken. I put so much sauce on it. So, no, I couldn't tell the chicken was undercooked. <laughs> Like I told her, you know, when it gets to the house, it ain't like I can stick it with the thermometer. It's getting cold by the time it gets here. People say, ooh, yuck, bologna, but I love me some good fried bologna. It's just good bologna. I ain't eating any of that bar ass or none of that crap. Look at that. Look at that. 
Watch your mama by their hand, their hot dogs. <laughs> Alex, look at this girl. Yeah, I see that, sweetheart. It's the princess. Yeah, I know. These are really cool. Oh, Pam, there ain't nothing like a fried bologna sandwich. Burn it. Put you just one little drop of mustard in the middle. Good to go. And sometimes some American cheese. He's like his daddy. His daddy felt like there was no food in the house if there wasn't bologna. There was always bologna in his daddy's house. Bologna and Viennas. Yeah, Alan, Alan's, we can't find the bologna he likes. He's got to have his Vienna sauce with this. No, I can't do that, Carol. She said, "Try for me to try bologna with a fried egg and a piece of cheese." And I don't eat mayonnaise, and I don't mix my food like bologna with egg. Uh -uh. He wouldn't do it. My food can't touch like that. I know I'm a weirdo, but my food does not. I don't mix food. Unless it's meant to be mixed, like if you make a pot roast with carrots and potatoes and onions, you know, I eat that because it's kind of meant to be that way. But like peanut butter and jelly, I've never ate it in my life, ever. You've never had peanut butter I've and jelly? I've never in my life ate a peanut butter and jelly. You're a too weird. That's just too weird. I'll eat a peanut butter sandwich or I'll eat some jelly toast. But I'm not mixing them together. That's just too good. And mayonnaise? Oh man, yeah. I'm, I'm about to keep thinking about that. Uh-uh. No, I'm doing beef tits and rice tonight. Look at her cup. She's already decided several. I'm slicing these because I want to put these on pizza. Cornbread dressing? Yeah. If it's thin. I don't like that thick and it's, it can't be mushy like. It can't be mushy. I like my dressing like thin and done. Tickle time! Tickle. 
Come here, tickle time. <laughs> slicing them thin, like really thin, because I like to put them on pizza. And I already have some that in the uh, freezer that I diced up last time. That one, that one needs like if I buy okra or squash, stuff like that, yeah, I will cut it up and put it in the freezer. I wanted a garden so bad this year. That's all right. We'll have one next year. We got one composted up, and we'll get the other one built, and it'll be composted by the winter, by the by spring, next spring. I'm going to have a lot of blueberries to freeze this year. Oh, uh, yeah, we got more blue blueberries than we're going to be able to eat this year. Okay, go play, baby. Do we got a farmer's market near us? No. There's a little fruit stand every now and then. Nearest farmer's market is uh, about 40 miles. About 40, 50 miles from us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's one we don't know about. Teresa said, you know what kind of bags them are you use? She said they're different than hers. Um, they're just the um, food saver that you make your own bags with. Close me. I don't want to squish you. Don't want to squish you. Where's your mom and daddy at? I'm in my room. I need another. She's out in their room. Close. Close me. Close me. Pam says she just shared a recipe on her page for blueberry cream cheese. Close me. Egg rolls. Oh, that sounds good. I have to look at that. Pam. The one that sent you uh, them things. Uh, okay. Hartsfield. Okay, well, there's two Pams. There's yeah. her and there's Pam Sexton. Yeah. When did Pam that sent you the things? I think so. Get it. Get it. Get it. I'm going to get it. Pam. Go play, baby. You're all over me, sweetheart. Yeah. Uh. uh Dexter said good evening. I'm here to your page. Hey. We are just uh, cutting up some peppers to get them frozen so they don't go bad. Okay, yeah. Pam said yes. Yeah, Pam, that stuff sure helped her. Them labels were Thank right you. I appreciate that. Them labels were right on time. I appreciate those. I, I love those things. That's cool. And those, the canisters lock down, the lids lock down tight. Well, okay, cool, cool. That's not cool. Oh, tell me that didn't, that it'll still be okay. It'll still be all right. Now, Becky made some egg rolls one night that were good, they were good. Yeah, but I've never done the dessert ones. I bet those are good. Laura oh, said, man. Laura said there's a Coweta County yes. Farmer's Market that's going to open June 1st. Never heard of it. 
Well, because it's happening in June 1st. I'm saying I ain't heard no news about it. I haven't been on Chatty Noon and Women. I'll have to go uh, look and see where it's going to be at. Here's your book. Yeah, here, baby. Your purple uniform book. Because everybody knows in our area, if you want to know yeah. something, you go to Chatty Noon and Women. No, stop. Here. Okay, you got to kind of fill down in there. Take it to your room. Don't run, walk, baby. Uh, Carol, we did a live with the egg rolls. You just have to go back and uh, look for it. I had never done. But she showed exactly everything she put in. Okay, what did I do? Hear that? I just didn't have a lockdown um, I had never done egg rolls before. It was my first time doing egg rolls, and they turned out really good. You ain't done them since. No, but I got the stuff. I'm going to do them. Travis and I from the UK. Hey Dion. Oh, look, we have all our little bell peppers now. Ready for when we want to use them. And they won't get mushy in the fridge. Uh, she's just prep food prep tonight. Uh, we're doing a live later on on cooking. She's just prepping food right now, freezing uh, vegetables and stuff. Laura said, just don't, if you make your egg rolls again, don't use that Kroger soy sauce. I don't know, girl. She said she remembered that look on your face. Did, did I show y'all what I did? Let me show you. Let me find them. Where are they? Oh, that thing of soy sauce? Yeah, where is my soy sauce? I don't know. I'm going to eat it. I do not eat soy sauce. I need to put this in my pink. And boy, when she buys something, she don't buy a little bit. So I went, I couldn't buy anything smaller than this. So I went on Amazon to solve that problem and got my favorite soy sauce in the packs. I bought a package of a hundred of them. How do you know it's the one you like? Because it's, it's the carry out brand. With the little panda bear on it. And you know, that's the same as what you think? I know that's what I eat every time. That's my favorite soy sauce. And I ripped one open the other day and just sit and sucked it out of the pack. Oh, that's and salt? Uh -huh. And it got salt in it? Yeah. Baby, that's like fermented fish. I've never eaten soy sauce. It's made out of fermented fish, ain't it, y'all? I've never eaten any of that. Pretty sure it is. But yeah, I went on. To on Amazon and ordered it because the grocery store does not carry this for him. So my egg rolls tasted good. They tasted like they were from the restaurant, but that soy sauce. So now I got the right Go soy mama. sauce for it. Go tell mama get it out. Tell her right now, don't, don't tell you to wait a minute. Tell her, Alan said do it right now. 
I think I had to pay um, like nine, eight or nine dollars for all that soy sauce. I just went by some Chinese place and grabbed a handful. I ain't buying no Chinese place. For was I grabbed me an egg roll too. That's the whole point, Alan. I'm out here in the sticks. I'm saying when you buy one, I just stop the grass on it. I am so ready to sit down now. So I'm assuming you're done. Yes. So now these wooden dough rollers like this, I, do I have to get some food grade oil to keep them old with? That's what I'm saying. Do I have to get some of that food safe, safe stuff that like you do wooden chopping blocks with? Right. Or do we just do like Grandma did and wash that thing and put it up? Wash it pretty good. To sit down, my back hurts. Teresa said mineral oil. Mineral oil? I'll have to find some. Alright, guys, I'm gonna hop off. I'll come back live later on this, this evening and we'll do those beef dips and rice. Right now, I'm so tired of standing. <coughs> need, to take out the need to take them out of the freezer. Yeah, I gotta get them out of the freezer, Rob. They'll be frozen. Yep. I'm just saying to do this, but I'm drinking one of them. It's in my refrigerator, it's just fair game. Alright. We're going to cut those up and make beef chips and rice tonight. All right, guys. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye, y'all.